Okay, so let's talk about some discussion forum basics. Uh, here is what a discussion forum look lo looks like, especially on uh, Blackboard uh, uh, 8. And making an original post, uh, usually make an original post in a new thread. A new thread will allow you to give a uh, subject, which you can basically give it an informative title. So I've given you some examples of informative titles here. And what's in an original post? Uh, answer the question po uh, posed, posed in the assignment. So articulate, there's that word again, your original assumptions, and articulate what changed, that is what you've learned, what conflict entailed to your original assumptions. Grading. I'm going to look at the volume of the contribution, that is, the length of it. I'm going to look at your writing, uh, whether or not there's mistakes, whether it's obvious that you've proofread. Uh, I'm going to look at the depth, whether or not I can tell that you've really thought about it. A lot of students try to dash off something that they think will just do, but that doesn't really get to the depth of what any professor wants, and it does not get uh, to the sophistication. So here's a sample. You can stop the slideshow and read it. And this would be a good example of uh, an original post. And here's another one. You can stop and read it of a original post. And this is an example of an unacceptable original post. And I can tell you that this would receive no grade on one of my discussion forums. Help with original posts. Uh, it's just going to take some brain work. You're just going to have to set aside some time and really think about it. Uh, I talk about aha moments or eureka moments, and uh, that takes basically insight. And insight requires, number one, preparation. That is, you have to know the material that the assignment is based upon. You have to read it. You have to learn it, take notes from it. And then incubation. Incubation means you set everything aside and do something else and let it incubate in your mind. So that's going to take time. Uh, also, uh, my web page on how to write an interpretation uh, may actually help you there also, so you want to take a look at that. Replying. Check in often. Read new posts. Uh, after the original post deadline, read all the posts carefully. Take notes. Yeah, take notes. Uh, ask people for explanations. When you ask them, articulate your understanding of what the post's author said, and then articulate, that is, expand out why you need more explanation. Articulate your perspective, and then articulate how it is in conflict with the post's author. There we get back to articulation and conflict. Here's a good reply. Uh, stop and uh, take a look at it. And here's a bad reply that would get no grade in one of my forums. And here is the rainbow at the end of the video lecture.